Well, good morning. Thank you for joining us once again for our daily devotional. Uh, I hope this finds you well and happy. Uh, I, I entitled our devotional this week, I'm Supposed to Love and Pray for Who? Boy, sometimes some folks just seem to make it hard for us to love on them as we're supposed to, but I think as of, on average, uh, most of us feel like we do a, a pretty good job at, uh, at loving other people. But I think if we're honest with ourselves, most of us will probably spend most of our time loving people that love us back, don't we? It's just easier to do. Uh, we love people that we are friends with. We love people that that we have built a trust with over time. We we love people, um, as I said, that that love us back. And when we when we have trust, when we have common ground, uh, it's easy to love someone, isn't it? But you know the problem there is Jesus. He said that loving those that love us is not enough. In uh, Luke chapter 6 and verse 28, he challenges us to bless those who have said something negative about us and to pray for those that mistreat us. So, if you've ever had anybody that's mistreated you, and I'll wager you have, if you've ever had anyone that said something negative about you, and again, I bet you have, as, as with me, I think we've all experienced that, um, then you, you know how hard it can be to love someone that has mistreated you or said something ugly, said something that they shouldn't have said about you. But you know what? Uh, uh, it's hard to love unloving people but yet Jesus did that very thing didn't he when we were at our very worst he still loved and cared about us so what do you do when you find someone uh, that has mistreated or said something bad and there's maybe hurt feelings or hard feelings there and you find it hard to love that person you find it hard to bless those that mistreat you. What do you do? Well, you might want to think about beginning with prayer. Ask God if he will soften your heart. Uh, ask him maybe for justice in a particular situation that you've experienced and for restoration of your relationship with that person. We need to remember that every person that exists, Jesus loves that person. And when we take steps to move toward that person to reconcile or repair that situation with someone that, uh, that is unloving, so to speak, we are showing the love of Jesus to someone that really needs to see that. Um, when we pray for those people, we become more and do more of what Jesus would have us to do. Uh, I mentioned earlier uh, from Luke chapter 6, verse 27 and 28, and I'll share that with you. Jesus said, but to you who are listening, I say, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. In Matthew uh, chapter 18, verses 21 and 22, Peter asked Jesus, uh, I'm sure you're familiar with this, but Peter asked Jesus, how many times should I forgive a brother or a sister who has sinned against me? Someone who's hurt me. Uh, said something ugly, they've mistreated me. How many times should I forgive that person? Should I forgive them seven times? That was the question he asked. Well, Jesus said, I tell you, not seven times should you forgive them, but seven times 70 times you should forgive them. 
That's a lot, isn't it? And I know uh, from personal experience, and, and maybe you do too, I know that sometimes it is very difficult and it poses a challenge for us, uh, or for most of us anyway. So what are we to do in that situation to help us love others? Well, I would suggest that right now, you take just a few minutes and you pray. Ask God to help you grow in your love and concern toward other people. If, the, if there's someone that has hurt you, uh, ask God to begin healing your heart. Say a prayer for that person as well. Ask God to help them and to make a way for their heart to be softened as well to make a way, to open a door, to make a path that you can reconcile with that person and it'll make it a lot easier to love them. And finally, don't forget to thank Jesus for loving each of us, even when we were unloving and at our very worst, he loved us. So share the love with someone today. Ask God to heal your heart and the other person to make a bridge that you might uh, have reconciliation in your relationship. Hope there was a little something in here that meant something to you. Hope your day is good. Again, I thank you for joining us for our daily devotion. And Lord willing, I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.